In Texas is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of the two disapproval resolutions that the House will consider today. Many of us, our bellies are still full from Thanksgiving, and now we're thinking about what we are going to buy our loved ones and family for Christmas. But let me tell you what families in Texas do not want for Christmas, and that's higher energy bills. But that's what they're going to get. That's what we're going to get if EPA's proposed rules for new and existing power plants go into effect. Many families in Texas are already living paycheck to paycheck, and they're looking for ways to put a little extra aside so that they can have a nice Christmas. But the EPA's rule for power plants will do more than just raise their electricity rates. Higher rates increase the cost of many other products and services that families need to buy. During this weak economic recovery, families struggling to pay bills or still looking for a good-paying job simply can't afford for their cost of living to go up. Folks in my district have had enough of this kind of executive overreach by the White House. They've had enough of the excessive red tape that just seems to keep on coming from federal bureaucracies like the They know it destroys jobs and economic growth. And in this case, it also puts our national security at risk. This new red tape by the EPA will hamper American energy security. And American energy security is a critical component of American national security. The EPA's plan is an unnecessary attempt to eliminate reliable and affordable energy. Let's help make sure our families, our veterans, and our senior citizens don't face higher energy bills. And I encourage my colleagues to support the Senate Joint Resolution 23 and 24. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman from Texas.